Okay, Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. So today we will go to the new chapter of chapter 5, Solid and Fluid. So at the end of this chapter, students should be able to define the matter. And then the second one is to describe the characteristic of solid, liquid and gas. Define density and its unit. Define pressure and its unit. Apply the concept of density and pressure. Explain Pascal, Pascal principle. Apply the Pascal principle in solving the related problem. Uh, explain the Archimedes principle and apply Archimedes principle in solving the related problem. So this is the learning outcome for chapter 5. Okay. Matter. What is matter? Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Just as volume. So a matter is made up of a tiny particle which are known as molecule. The molecule of a matter consists of an atom. Matter exists in three different states which are solid, liquid and gas. So tiga keadaan matter yang awak perlu tahu adalah pepejar, cecair dan gas. So this is the example. Ada solid. Ada gas and ada liquid. Okay, contoh, ni ada ais. Uh, ni wap, gas lah. And then, air minuman cecair lah. Okay. So, cube test, uh, cube ice uh, adalah contoh yang terbaik. So, this is the characteristic solid, liquid and gas. This thing you need to remember and to understand. Uh. This uh, question pernah keluar juga. Then, uh, most popular question lah. Uh. So, what is the difference between three type of matters? So, ada tiga karakteristik yang awak faham. Pertama, microscopic view, particle arrangement, particle movement, shape and density and also the example. So, normally, uh, akan tanya dua jenis karakteristik dan contohlah awak pilih-pilih yang mana-mana untuk awak ingat lagi senang. So, solid particle arrangement is close together and properly arranged. But liquid loose and not arranged. And gases is separated far from each other and randomly distributed. So, dia boleh bergerak suka hati dia. Eh? Partikel dia tu lebih uh, berada dalam keadaan yang jauh lah. And for the particle movement solid, vibrate and spin at their fixed position. So, dia bergerak bergetar pada tempat dia yang telah ditetapkan tu. Dia tak boleh bergerak jauh. But liquid vibrate and move randomly but not freely. And gas move freely and randomly in all directions. Dia boleh bergerak secara rawak lah. And for solid, their shape have a certain shape and volume. Uh, dia boleh jadi bentuk pasagi ke, bentuk macam-macam lah. Senang untuk diubah. And liquid shape change according to the shape of the container. Ha, dia tak ada bentuk yang asal tetapi... Bentuk dia berubah bentuk uh, mengikut bekas yang mengandungi ni lah. Okay. And then the gas shape and volume change according to the shape and volume of the container. Eh. And density. Solid have a higher density. Higher density. Liquid high density. And gas is most low density. The example for solid is like ice cube, uh, liquid juice or water. Gas is like just as air, dara, oxygen and water vapor. Eh? So, we go to the density. Just now, we, kita dah tengok dah apa itu uh, definisi bagi matters. And this is density. Density is defined as amount of mass per unit volume. Where the formula is density equals to M over volume. So, the SI unit for density is kilogram per meter cube. So, normally, uh, we use... Uh, this type of shape uh, are the basic spheres, cylinders, cone, cubus or cube. So, the unit for mass is in kilogram eh, and the volume is must be in meter. So, kalau soalan bagi dalam gram ataupun cm, you need to convert to the SI unit. So, this is table of density. You, you don't need to understand, uh, to remember but you need to understand. The differences between the density in the different substance. Just as gold, you see. The density is 
1300 kilogram so this mean gold have a higher density than other substance in this table when you see to um helium helium have the density of 0 0.178 so very light sangat ringan sebab tu yang dia boleh terbang tu kan so however this uh, density is actually kita ada merujuk atau buat perbandingan dengan perbandingan dengan water water have the density of 1000 eh? kalau kita masukkan gold baling gold dalam air so gold ni lagi berat so dia akan tenggelam lah eh? so ini actually eksperimen ni dah buat pun masa kelas sains dah jadi tiga eh? anak saya pun dah buat dah ni density so kalau kita masukkan uh, contohnya ice dalam air so ice have a lower density than water so ice akan apa float eh? dia akan akan terapung. Begitu juga dengan oil. Oil, if you add into water, oil uh, will be flow at the top. Eh? Sebab dia lagi ringan. So, this is um, one of the experimental yang kita buat di lab lah. Tapi, bukan lab kita ni. Ini just untuk your understanding. Eh? So, sea, water and butter. So, what is the density for these two meters? So, this, uh, so the solution eh? the given um, weight of the water water is 96 gram so you need to convert to kilogram and then the volume is 80 centimeter cube you need to convert to meter cube and then for the density you need to take the mass divided by volume and lastly you will get the density of the sea water is 1200 kilogram per meter padu so maksudnya density dia ni lagi berat lagi tinggi daripada uh, air. Tapi ini sebagai contoh lah eh. and butter so butter mass of the butter is 240 gram convert to kilogram you get 0 0.24 kilogram and the volume use this formula eh. panjang kali lebar kali tinggi you you get 2.64 uh, uh, darat 10 kuasa negatif 4 meter padu so the density you use this formula and lastly you get the density of butter is 909.09 kg per meter padu so dia lagi ringan daripada air eh. so this is the actually the group task yang kita akan buat dalam uh, dalam kelas tapi never mind I will uh, describe to you so actually kita ambil satu uh, 1 meter beaker with 600 ml volume okey campurkan dengan uh, uh, campurkan ni air masukkan dalam beaker corn syrup oil and food coloring so, kenapa ada food coloring ni dia ni food coloring ni akan create layer lah uh, between this this metal so bila awak masukkan uh, air mula masukkan air and then you masuk corn syrup corn syrup and then oil so akan terbentuk apa terbentuk layer lah so bila terbentuk layer ini tu dia menunjukkan ada perbezaan ketumpatan di antara metals ni so yang paling berat adalah apa sirap ha corn sirap ni akan berada paling bawah and then air dan lastly di atas yang float adalah oil dan itu nak menunjukkan perbezaan density so tadi kita dah tengok ha, rumus untuk density di mana Ketupuatan density is equals to mass divided by volume. So, kita masuk relative density lah. The second formula for today, relative density. Ataupun ketupuatan relative. Ketupuatan relative is defined as the ratio of the density of substance to the density of water. So, kalau nak dapatkan relative density ni, awak kena ambil apa-apa ketupatan substan bahagi dengan ketupatan air. So, ketupatan substan tu apa? Apa-apa eh, yang awak yang nak kaji tu lah. Ha, sebagai contoh, kalau gold, gold berada di atas bahagi dengan ketupatan air. Ha, kalau nak ambil cuprum, so cuprum di atas bahagi dengan air. Itu yang kita sebut sebagai relative density. Uh, density. But this relative density has no unit. Sebab apa? Ha, sebab Masa awak kira formula tu, unit dah dah dipotong. Ha? Hapuslah, tak ada. Ha? 
So how to calculate relative density? So given density of water is 1000 and density of iron is 7800 kg uh, meter cube. So this is the solution. So I'm big. Iron divided by water, you will get the answer is 7.8. But there is no unit. Yeah? Okay. Next is pressure. So the third uh, formula for today is pressure. Tekanan. Eh? So tekanan ni uh, kita merujuk kepada material. Lah. Bukan tekanan diri awak nak belajar ke tekanan apa, tekanan perasaan ke. Bukan, eh? So formula of pressure is force divided area. So force you should be in Newton and area meter per square. This is the SI unit. So your SI unit for pass, um for pressure is Pascal, P A, eh? or you also can use Newton per meter squared. Both, uh, you can use eh? Both also you can use. So the pressure is force divided by area. So we look to the example. A force of hundred Newton to an object of area four meter squared. Calculate the pressure. So ada seratus Newton. 100 Newton pressure yang dikenalkan eh. Ha, berapakah ha, 100 Newton force yang dikenalkan berapakah pressure untuk otak ini. So pressure equal force divided by area. So you get 100 divided by 4 is equals to pressure equals to 25 pascal. Itu jawapannya eh. So how to calculate the pressure for this type of situation? A woman is wearing a pencil Heel shoes. Oh, saya tak boleh lah pakai macam ni eh. Sakit tumit eh. If a mass of human woman is 50 kg and area of one heel is 1 cm square. Eh, kecil sangat. So, calculate the pressure exerted on ground when women stand on just one heel. Uh, maksudnya, dia pakai kasut. Nah, kasut ni ada dua kan. Tapi, apakah pressure yang dikenakan ke atas tubuh dia bila dia beri pada satu kaki saja? So, semua Mass uh, 50 kg ni akan jatuh pada one point of uh, pressure saja. So, kita buat macam mana? So, mass of woman M equals to uh, 50 kg. Uh, area dia bagi 1 cm per square. Kena convert kepada uh, meter square. Lepas tu, awak akan dapat 0.0001 meter square. And the force, force equals to mg. So, berat dia adalah 50 darat 10. So, dapat 500 Newton. So, what is the pressure? Pressure force divided by area. Force tadi dah dapat 500 bahagi dengan area tadi. 0.00 apa tadi? Ha, eh? Tak payah bubur dan pecah tak apa. So, you will get the answer is what? So, the answer is so many times. Uh, 5 juta pascal So you uh, boleh convert kepada Kilo pascal eh? Tak ada masalah Banyak sangat nombor So pakailah engineering notation So pressure Pressure in liquid Tadi pressure biasa saja So pressure in liquid kita kena pakai G darab dengan H So G tu apa? G sentiasa 9.81 H adalah ketinggian so, a huge metal tank is used to store a certain type of oil. Hmm? Ada satu tank yang akan menyimpan air. So, what is the pressure exerted by oil at depth of 3.5 meter? Uh, dengan ketupatan uh, minyak dan air dah diberi. Itu dan G is 9.81. So, pressure, pressure exerted by oil is P equals to rho times G and H. Rho sama dengan 840. Darat 9.81, darat 3.5. Dapatlah jawapan dia. 9.81 ni tak berubah. Ha? Ha, awak pergi mana pun tak berubah. So, this is the pressure uh, for uh, in water. So, saya stop kat sini dulu. Kita akan sambung next. Uh, okay, kita sambung uh, video yang kedua pula daripada yang satu tadi. So, pressure in liquid, saya uh, terangkan sikit balik. So, the pre pressure in liquid ni, the pressure in a liquid is different at a different depth. Dia berbeza mengikut ketinggian yang berbeza. Kedalaman lah, kedalaman yang berbeza. Kalau lagi dalam, lagi tinggi dia punya pressure. So, kita tengok uh, rumus dalam uh, tekanan dalam air adalah 
Sama dengan rho, g and h. Rho tu apa? Density liquid tersebut. Lepas tu g adalah sentiasa 9.81 and h is the depth. Eh? Adalah ketinggian dia. So kita tengok contoh soalan. A huge metal tank is used to store a certain type of oil. What is the pressure exerted by oil at a depth of 3.5 meter if the density of the oil is 840 kilogram per meter cube and the G is 9.81 meter per second squared. So kalau G ni tak diberi, awak kena pakai ya 9.81. Okay. So dalam tangki ini ada minyak dan ada air. So dia nak minta, dia minta bagian berapakah tekanan yang diambil oleh Uh, minyak ini So kita kena pakai density apa Kalau dia minta oil Kena pakai density oil Jangan pakai density air Density air seribu kan jang. So kita pakai density yang diminta uh, Material yang diminta So oil So oil Density oil is 840 Time by 9.81 Is always 9.81 And times by The depth or height 3.5 So dalam keadaan pada satu titik ni Tinggi-tinggian dia ada 3.5 meter So pressure In liquid is 28,841.4 pascal. Yeah. So, pressure in liquid. Okay. Ini dah. So, kita tengok pressure in liquid. So, kalau uh, dalam pressure in liquid ni, tadi kita kira PGH saja. So, kalau soalan meminta awak, uh, minta awak buat total pressure, so awak kena Dapatkan total pressure daripada water and atmospheric pressure. Eh? Gabungan uh, tekanan air dan tekanan daripada atmosfera. So, ini adalah rumusnya. So, kita tahu dah tadi uh, nak dapatkan tekanan daripada air, rho GH dan tekanan daripada atmosfera. Normally, tekanan atmosfera ini adalah ini 1.013 darat 10 kuasa 5 pascal. Eh? Uh, ini tak berubahlah sentiasa nilai dia ini. 1.013 ni. Tapi dalam soalan sentiasa uh, selalunya akan barilah. Akan bagi. So unit untuk total pressure is pascal juga. Ataupun awak boleh guna newton per meter square. So to de determine the total pressure at this point, we must add on the pressure value at the water surface which is due to the atmosphere. So it is called atmosphere pressure. So atmosphere Rate pressure varies slightly over the Earth's surface and change due to weather condition. So, untuk pe, uh, untuk pengiraan dalam engineering science, we always use 1.013 times 10 to the power of 5 pascal. So, nilai ni, uh, kita akan state menggunakan nilai ni melainkan dalam soalan dia bagi nilai lain. <coughs> so, ini adalah nilai uh, tekanan bagi atmosphere. Tengok contoh soalan. Penyelam. A diver is 20 meter below the surface of water. If the density of the sea water is 1,025 kilogram and the atmospheric pressure is 1.013 times 10 to the power of 5 newton per meter squared, calculate the water pressure exerted on the diver. So, dia minta awak dapatkan uh, tekanan yang uh, berlaku pada penyelam ni. So penyelam tu duduk kat mana? Duduk 20 meter ke bawah. So ini depth dia dah diberi height dia 20 meter. So density. Density of sea water dah dapat 1000. So masukkan dalam formula 1025 darat 9.81 darat 20 meter. So the answer is 201,105 pascal. Itu adalah pressure water pressure ke atas penyelam. So, nak dapatkan total pressure, awak kena tambah dengan apa? Tambah dengan pressure daripada atmosphere. So, total pressure is, uh, tadi awak dah kira dah, PGH tambah dengan pressure daripada atmosphere. So, total uh, awak akan tambah saja. Dapat 302,405 pascal. Okay. So, untuk konsep of Pascal Principle ni, kita akan masuk next class.
Okay, thank you, class.